Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another karting video. Now, today we are at the Q Leisure Circuit, which is in Brighton. Now, this was a really fun event, and I also brought my dad along, by the way, and gave him a camera, and he basically went full Steven Spielberg, basically. So he got a bunch of really cool shots and managed to film some uh, kind of outboard shots as well. So shout out to my dad. There I am, and uh, yeah, little fist bump just before I get in, and we're going to jump in straight straight into the action. Now, in terms of uh, what the format of this uh, of this event was, it was a 10 minute practice and quali, and then a 30 minute race. But the way it worked, and we are by the way gonna go on board with my first ever laps at Brighton, but the way it worked is that there were two groups doing the 10 minute practice slash quali, all of the times then got put together, and then there were two separate races, and basically like a fast, uh, kind of a fast group of racers, and then the slow group of racers as well. Now don't worry, we did get into the fast, uh, group of racers so yeah that is going to come up in a little bit but this again is my very first laps around Brighton now straight away I just want to say and <laughs> someone literally as I'm coming out has already binned it as you saw over on the left hand side so yeah great start now straight away I just want to say that this track was amazing as you can see the conditions are a little bit damp and kind of a little bit dry in some places and over the course of the entire session they were kind of mixed because as you'll see later on in the race when we actually get to it it did start raining as well so the track is drying out at the moment but yeah these are my first laps and uh, yeah really cool um just really cool circuit absolutely loved it you can take so many different lines especially in this section right here you can see me just doing a little cut back right there and you're going to see quite a bit of that but yeah what an incredible circuit i absolutely loved it and i had a fantastic race uh, with someone as well now really strangely practice was a bit of a disaster yellow flags all over the place and this was actually my quickest lap so riding on board right now is my actual quickest uh, lap which gave me my uh, position for the race. Now, as you can see straight away, I could not believe that this, was, that this was my quickest lap because immediately I was boxed in and had a terrible run uh, through some back markers. So I can't believe that this was actually my best lap. But yeah, it just shows you how chaotic the session was overall. Uh, we get into this little complex corners again, just kind of at this point, I was just getting used to the circuit, getting used to the conditions because the track was getting drier and drier. So you can kind of build more confidence and get quicker and quicker, which is quite nice. But yeah, this little, um, uh, this little turn right here, I had a big problem with, but managed to get a pretty decent line, even uh, tap the barrier there a little bit as well. And then I love these little corners here. You're really kind of hunting for the grip. I always just take the absolutely line of least resistance. I don't go too wide. And there we go across the line as well. So yeah, to be honest, there's not too much to say from the 10 minutes of uh, practice slash quality. Quite a few uh, incidents. Guy right in front of me spins and I basically almost crash into him. So that lap is kind of ruined. Uh, moving on once again. Now this was pretty big. Look at this on the left-hand side. That guy has literally gone into the barrier and he's put the barriers above the circuit. I mean, he must have been going into those barriers at literally terminal velocity. So yeah, he's lifted. He's basically lifted the barriers off the circuit. He has gone in that hard. We've had another spinner there on another lap. And then even going to the next lap, the guy is still there. The yellow flags are out as well. So yeah, a very messy practice slash quality, but still fun nevertheless. And I think there's even another incident here as well so once again yellow flags and a stranded go-kart there on the left hand side but yeah so that was pretty much the story of practice slash quality but nevertheless we are very uh, very soon going to go into the race that's it practice is over we are coming in there's the yellow flags and entering the pits now the really interesting thing around uh, the Brighton circuit is not only are there blue flags, which I've never had before, by the way, in terms of actual blue flags for the back markers that they actually have to oblige and get out of the way for. And you can see me here, by the way, just in between of the sessions, uh, kind of on the gram. Apologies for the dead haircut, but that's just how it is. So as I'm watching there, that's actually the slow race over so the guys that finished in the bottom half of practice slash qualifying. But here we go, gloves on, and we are about to kick, uh, we're about to uh, jump in to our 30 minute race for basically the uh, the quickest guys in terms of qualifying. Now, uh, I qualified in P2 overall, which I was actually stunned, by the way. I mean, yeah, that lap definitely did not feel quick, but somehow I qualified in P2. And as you can see, ahead of me, um, the driver in the red helmet. Now, we had a mega, mega race. Now, his name was Dan, by the way, little thumbs up there. Uh, his name was Dan, I found out kind of after the race. And uh, he'd been here before. He's actually a very good carter because he'd done a Club 100 before. And we kind of, we both noticed at the same time, quite fun, uh, quite uh, quite hilariously, that a little bit of rain uh, is about to start. So jumping, we kind of 
I anticipate that perhaps little mixed conditions could jump in. But that's it. We are making our way onto the grid, doing a bit of tire warming, which kind of looking back was probably a bit of a waste of time because, uh, yeah, we stood on the grid for quite a while. Now, here we wait for the lights to go out and the lights are actually really far away, but there they are. Lights out and we are into the race now. I managed to get a pretty decent start and also get a good line. So straight away, we are into P1 and here is the line. Now, something really interesting, by the way, at this track is that it has basically a virtual safety car system. And you might notice at some points that the carts are going really slowly. And basically the way that works is that when there is a yellow flag out on the track, there is an electronic limiter. So you can literally be full throttle, but the car is actually uh, only going at like half speed. So it's basically designed so that under yellows, people aren't like just crashing into anyone. But nevertheless, we are at, like, we are on the first lap and already some battling going on. I managed to jump in. He got a back ahead of me, but thank goodness I am now into the lead of the race. So now let's take a replay of that start again. Now I get a pretty decent start. I already am just basically trying to box him out, making sure I am on the right line. And to be honest, I was buzzing with that start. Very, very happy indeed. So yeah, that's the replay again from the gantry. Really nice kind of uh, angle to get a bit of footage. Here we are going side by side. I love this complex of corners. I do a really nice little switch back and then making sure as we kind of go over the bridge here that I am not opening up the inside line and actually kind of washing wide a little bit. So kind of almost putting the guy uh, on the outside into the barriers, making sure he does not come back for more. Sadly, it does not go well here. I go a little bit wide again. I had a lot of problems with that turn and Dan has gone right back past. Now again, he has a bit more experience than me. He's done championships in the past. So I'm just really happy. I was to be honest, really just kind of happy to stick with him at this point and in the dry as you'll see I actually managed to do a really good job now there we go I've put some graphics up on the screen as we begin and kind of get really into the race now Again, at this point, I'm just kind of watching his lines. I'm trying to learn, and you can kind of see a little bit of um, a little bit of water there on the lens as well. So apologies for that, but it just shows you the mixed conditions, and they were changing basically from lap to lap. And you're constantly hunting for the grip and hunting for the for the dry line. And again, in the dry, I felt very confident. I love this little uh, little layout right here. Again, this corner just going a little bit wide. You can see me just lose kind of a few little carton lengths there and there. Again, a nice little outboard shot, just kind of showing the gap between us. But here we come. Uh, here we come up to a back marker for the very first time there you can see the blue flags and that actually kind of helped me a little bit because Dan kind of uh, took the wrong line and actually kind of gained a few car lengths back so once again I am right over the back of him just looking can I go inside outside I draw I go for the dive bomb and there we go absolutely beautiful just send it I kind of lined it up and it kind of just came to me and he's already down the inside as well so that was kind of just kind of a shock out of nowhere so yeah these pro drivers they're just literally coming out of nowhere now a little bit greasy you can see me kind of soaring at the wheel so just making sure I'm kind of just doing smooth hand movements as well as we go under the tree there now this was a very tricky part of the circuit because if you go wide you're really washing out so you've got to make sure that you're on the dry line now once again you can see he is right behind me I make a little bit of a mistake here so maybe lose a bit of time but happily he doesn't uh, catch me up too much now this uh, especially this little loop the loop uh, bit here I absolutely love this part of the circuit it was amazing and once again we are coming up uh, only five laps in and we're already coming up to another back marker now Again, really kind of strange to have blue flags. I've never had actual blue flags before, and I kind of I kind of like it and dislike it because, of course, I get a little bit of a bump there, by the way, as well, so that's not the best. Um, but, yeah, we get the blue flags, but sadly, I do lose the lead there. I kind of, I was a bit asleep, but to be honest, I got a little bit of a bump, and that kind of compromised me. And here, I just go a little bit wide, maybe touch a bit of the damn part. I try to do a bit of a cutback, but it doesn't quite work out, so I've just got to kind of calm down at this point, get into the groove, get into the zone, and, I mean, I'm right behind him. I'm right there can I do a little bit of switch back here as well you kind of got to trust that back marker to kind of overtake him around the outside Dan kind of touches the barrier so that kind of makes me close up just a little bit flat out through this turn here and I look and this uh, lot left hand you can take a bunch of different lines once again I tried to go oh and I kind of bump him out of the way I feel guilty about that overtake so yeah I let Dan back pass that was one of those lick the stamp and send it that didn't quite work out uh, so yeah I kind of I decided to let him uh, let him back pass because it was a bit of a dirty move but again I was confident in my pace and even though at this point you can see I'm kind of falling behind just a little bit I was confident in my pace it, as the circuit was kind of drying out just a little bit you will see and again there's a bit of carnage here with another back marker and uh, I kind of go for it oh, I, do, I, do I kind of go down the inside do I not uh, at this point I do get slowed down just a little bit by these back markers and uh, sometimes they help you out sometimes they don't it's all about how you cut through them and as you can see uh, Dan has started to build the gap just a little bit I go for a really nice move around the outside not too bad there and again kind of just cut across him hoping he's not just going like on my inside and going to spin me out so I've got to start kind of using these back markers to my advantage now again another traffic jam I get a really good 
exit here and I'm thinking, oh, here we go. I'm just going to go for it. And I do. But sadly, although the first back marker let me through, not so much with this guy. He is all over and you can see the blue flags are just coming up now. So yeah, it's a little bit frustrating. Sometimes you catch these guys at the worst possible moment and they can, can slow you down. But to be honest, even looking back, I didn't kind of lose too much time. So yeah, a decent, uh, a decent job. And the, the entire point is how quickly can you get through the back markers and how little time you can lose. So as you can see here, I kind of do a good job a few laps later to catch him up. And Dan is already going defensive. I'm looking, I'm on the attack. I've clearly got a bit more pace, which is great. And I'm just looking for the cleanest and best possible opportunity. Now, I go a little bit wide there. Perhaps, again, another wheel on the damp. But happily, we don't lose too much. Now, this was my favorite part of the track. This left, right, under the bridge. A really, really nice part of the circuit. And again, you can kind of choose multiple lines. You can see I'm going a little bit kind of more inside of the circuit. And this is really great, by the way. I mean, Dan kind of gets boxed out. He's fuming, hands up in the air. And I'm just trying to kind of... I almost thought maybe there was a bit of an opportunity for me to try and perhaps kind of sneak through, but, uh, but happily or sadly, uh, no opportunity there. Now, Dan gets not a great exit, but we skip uh, to another lap. And again, I'm right behind him. He gets a bit all over the place. He definitely got on the dam there. And look, I am right behind him at this point. And just looking, come on, give me a, give me an opening. Can I go down the inside? Is he going to go a little bit wide? There's my opportunity, and I absolutely go for it. But this is very important. Do not go too far wide. Make sure you don't open that inside line. And that is what I did. But he, I, I did kind of open the inside line, but not too much. And happily, he was not able to go through. So we are back into the lead of the race now. Honestly, guys, obviously me commentating here and you watching, I mean, it's great, but I was under so much pressure. I'm banging the steering wheel because every single time, and he's just right there, right behind my exhaust. So, yeah, I mean, I was under so much pressure, and I tried to put as much pressure as I could on him as well, and this was just so intense and so much fun. But this was honestly the best. Uh, I've kind of, I'm kind of going to let this clip roll because... Honestly, this was the best moment of the race. We were going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I knew that he was right behind me. He's only about, what is that, three or four car lengths behind me. So I've got to be very careful. Make sure I clip every single apex and do absolutely everything perfectly. And also not get caught out by the back markers as well. I was constantly kind of making sure. Well, I'm not looking, obviously, behind me too much because I want to focus on my own race. But you do have to have this awareness. Again, I do that a little bit rough through that uh, through that hairpin right there. Go a little bit wide. Just making sure, is he going to dive down my inside? No know this again someone crashing there so you can see actually on the lens at this point the rain is starting to get just a little bit heavier now um again the virtual safety car i think was released there so you might have noticed that the car went a little bit slow at one point and again that's because it was electronically limited and then once we get past uh, once we get past the incident, we can go back to racing speed. Now, I get a little bit slow down there, and Dan manages to get right behind me, and I go a little bit wide, and there he is. He goes down the uh, down the inside, but can I do the switch back? I kind of I take a little bit of a wide line and try to accelerate. Yes, I can. A beautiful little switch back, and I, literally, that move was my absolute favorite, doing that switch back on the top of the hill as we kind of crisscross over the circuit. That was literally the best, but again, I go a little bit wide. That hairpin, again, I just not very, not very good at that now in this situation Dan once again gets the legs on me and when you go into that corner and someone is literally down your inside just cut your losses don't even think about late breaking late just try and get the best possible exit and that's exactly what I do now here again I get on the kind of greasy part of the circuit I lose a little bit of grip and that's why you see Dan just kind of gets a few little car lengths there so very frustrating especially when you're kind of in that part of the circuit under the tree just hug the inside and just try especially in these conditions just try to get the best possible line now once again this is a very cheeky move Look, I actually box uh, using the back marker. I box that now, and once again, I am. I mean, look at I'm absolutely a genius, aren't I? And I am back into the lead of the race. However, this sadly is where things start to get a little bit bad because you can see I'm soaring at the wheel because the conditions at this point were not great. The rain had really started to come uh, come back in, and this is where experience really shows. Now. Sadly, I do have a little half spin there as well, and I lose the lead as well. I was so frustrated, but there was just nothing I could do. And this is where, again, this is where experience counts for so much because I actually did not realize this, uh, I did not realize this at the time. And you can see Dan at this point just starts to make the gap, and I just can't keep up. 
I can still overtake the back markers. I'm still uh, relatively quick, but just not quick enough in these conditions. And uh, I didn't realize this at the time, but this was my first ever proper race in wet slash damp conditions. So yeah, it was a big learning experience. And I think it just shows the difference in experience. And I think um, you can see obviously people starting to have accidents. We have a person kind of on the inside yellow flag there and uh, go past the back marker. And right at the last second here as well, someone bins it on that, uh, on that inside as well. So quite a few incidents from here. Uh, and sadly, I wasn't able to keep up with Dan. This was a really fun move, by the way, here, because uh, getting towards the, end of the, to, towards the end of the race, look at this, two for one, box mill. Thank you very much. Much. Overtake both of them, get a nice little overspeed. That was a beautiful little uh, two for one overtake. And then again, go past this back marker around the outside as well. Sadly, however, that was getting towards the end of the race. Now, the really interesting thing is, although I wasn't able to hang uh, with Dan in, uh, in wet conditions, I just did not have the pace. The track actually kind of dried up towards the end of the session, which is what you're seeing here on lap 37. So on lap thir uh, 36, 37, and kind of uh, there or thereabouts, the track started to dry up. And when I got home and looked at the times, I once again, did, I was about two or three tenths quicker every single lap in the dry than Dan. So yeah, I was pretty good there. But sadly, that is the checkered flag. That is the end of the race. And that uh, is uh, P2, to be fair, just boxing in now towards the end of the race. Not too bad. Uh, not too bad of a race. Such a great battle with Dan as well. What a track. And yes, now let's hear my reactions uh, just uh, after the race. Second. Second. Couldn't keep up with him in the wet. It was dry in the beginning, wet in the middle, and then back to a little bit dry in the end. So yes, sadly the wet conditions caught me out a little bit. I'm looking forward to racing more in the wet to try and get more experience and get more used to it because it is actually quite fun. But nevertheless, here are the final classifications in terms of the top three. And if you actually look on the right in terms of the fastest lap, although I did not manage to get the W, I did manage to get the fastest lap by one thousandth of a second. One thousandth of a second. But hey, I'm going to take that fastest lap on the day. We both did our quick laps on, uh, on the third lap. So it just shows you how the conditions got worse. Now, after the race, uh, by the way, this is a really cool moment. Uh, someone actually came up and said that they are a fan of my channel, and it was the Marshall that you can see just walking by next to me. So, yeah, massive shout out to him. I said thank you, and uh, sorry I did not get your name, but yeah, just crazy to see people actually that uh, watch my channel. I did get happily, um, we had a little bit of a catch up after the race, so that is Dan. Uh, he was amazing to race with, absolutely top guy, and yeah, I mean, Brighton, it was just so much fun, and uh, there was even a little bit of a podium ceremony afterwards as well. So, yeah, P2, I'm not going to scoff at that. Again, against an experienced racer who's done Club 100 and raced in the championship. I am going to take that. And uh, yeah, what a day that was. Anyway, guys, there you go. I hope you did enjoy another one of my karting videos. Now, the one thing I do want to know from you guys in the comments box below is what would you like to see in terms of what tracks do you think I should go to next? And also, what kind of things would you like to see in the video in terms of maybe different angles, maybe different graphics on the screen? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments box below. And I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did then don't forget to drop a like and smash that subscribe button if you are looking forward to more of my karting shenanigans. Anyway, once again thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.